dark side. Hello there. One second. I want you to know you're live on the air. Oh, yeah, sorry. You are live. This is uh, Justin with Dad Wars. How can I help you? Sergey, um, huge fan of your show, and I want to call to check in with you about the problem you had a couple of weeks ago. Oh my gosh, uh, Sergey! Oh, oh, are you talking about the um, we got spammed, Luis? Weren't you watching the show that night? We got spammed by some really nasty spammers. Sergey, you're right, coming baby. up on the um, you're coming up on the call ID. I've got your image here. Let me let me see if I can pull you up here. This is really neat. Where are you calling from, Sergey? Um, I'm calling from a, a place. I don't want to say too much. Um, gotcha. It's, uh, I'm calling from Strip Mall in Kansas City. Let's just say that for now. Um, <laughs> did you? I'm just checking in to see if you have any more problems with spammers. You know what? What's funny? We had it that week, and then nothing. Haven't seen, heard anything come through uh, like that again. And I probably won't have any more problems with the uh, spammers. Uh, I took. I was very upset about it because I love your show and I didn't like it. So I called friends and made um, accommodations. And you should have no more problems. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, thank you. That's amazing. I mean, I hope every that was. I hope everybody's oh, is safe. But. Uh... Thank you. Well, you probably shouldn't know too much. You should probably keep uh, your mouth shut when uh, before asking questions. Yes, uh, we have, uh, where I'm from, they're saying, um, if you don't know the trap of the rat, then you don't need the cheese. You know what this means. <laughs> that is very Eastern promises. <laughs> yeah, you know what this means, though, right? I think, I I've, think heard you know that, I've heard that in a movie before, Sergey. Yeah. You're right. So oh, you amazing. don't want to know. Listen, uh, I have to tell you, uh, the reason I first watched your show yes. is because where I am from, where the village I'm from, we have Dead Wars. Okay, yeah. Uh, Wait, there's a Dead Wars but, already out there? But it's uh -oh. not, it's very different. It's very different than what you do. Uh, for me, where I come from, the village, uh, for Dead Wars, uh, two fathers from the village come to a, it's a cage made of wood. Very large, like Thunderdome movies, and they go into the cage um, with no shirts, bare knuckle fighting until the other one is dead. Wow. And then the the father that is alive, he uh, he becomes the king of the town. And we have a song we sing for him, and there's a very there's a big uh, um, what's the word we're looking for? Like a like a tables of food, tables and tables of food. Oh, for like a, him. It's a big celebration, a ceremony to induct the new king of the t the vi village, as you say, the town. All right, the king of the village. So th th that is the other word where I'm from. I was excited at first to watch your show because I thought, my goodness, they have, they're broadcasting the dead words. Maybe I will see someone I know uh, die. But it was different. But what was exciting uh, is that I love um, this the the Star Wars very much. So you all, so it was, so it's just mm. kind of a lucky happy accident that you 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 kind of saw us. You heard of uh, our our show, or at least the name of the yes. show. You got on, or you doing? You sounds like you were probably doing some kind of a just a broad search on YouTube looking for this this ceremony that involved. Yes. Um, I mean, I don't know how to put it, but like a, a killing, a murder. But then you happen upon us. We're just like a bunch of middle-aged dad nerds hanging out in our basements. But you happen to like Star Wars enough, so you're here because you are a fan. now you're you're a fan of Star Wars. Are you? Yes, are, I will. I will. I, I will take the first part. Firewall, first. Apparently. You you uh, murder is a strong word for what happened. Uh, I know, we call I know. it. Uh, we call it a very similar to your show. We call reckoning. So a reckoning. That, yeah. Yeah. So that is what it is. That's not the murder. That is that is the will of life. I get it. The name yeah. on its face, the name of our the name of our show, Dad Wars, and then you add in the yes. weekly reckoning, it sounds like it could yeah. be like kind of a violent scenario. I didn't even put right. that much thought. It's kind of ironic because we're just happy go lucky, yeah. like fun loving Star Wars dads. But to I I love the positivity you have. It makes me very happy inside. 
I'm glad. I'm, I'm, just, I'm glad. I hope it's brought some peace to your life. It sounds like you've really seen some things in your in your life, and um, oh, not much. Everything's fine. Hunky dory is what they say <laughs> here in the Kansas City. Wow! And so you wound up in the Midwest, as it were. We can go with that for now. For I don't now. want to say too much. I sometimes I have to travel for work, so I do um, a stints. Is the term I will stay for maybe two to fourteen weeks in one place, then go to other place, then another. You know, I do things. Yeah, um, I'm but hearing, I would. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm hearing like a, this song that has kind of a, a Eastern European vibe to it. Is that coming from your? Is that where you are now? Are you, I'm hearing something. It sounds familiar. It's a, Let's see if I can bring your audio up a little bit. Right. A, a, uh, I am listening to music now. Yes. It's, it's what I like to call... Um, uh, what I, what's, I'm trying to think of the way it would translate to American. Um, uh, sh- sh- shuffle but groove. Oh, what shuffle, is shuffle dancing. Yeah, that's what that's very popular. No, now. no, oh. no, no. Oh, not that. Shuffle butt groove. Shuffle, shuffle but, buttocks but. groove. Oh, this it's literally what, this, what that translates that, to. That's what it translates to, okay. yes. Um, uh, but uh, you like this music? You like the sound of this? It's got a nice beat to it. It sounds like it's from another time, another era. It sounds like 70s kind of disco, but talking about... Uh, Something, can you turn it up a little bit for us? No, but groove. No, I cannot, I don't want to. I'd rather listen to uh, talking to you about Star Wars. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, because I we like your friend, show. I like your friend just showed the um, yellow chicken Darth Vader. I like that one, that was a good one. I like that. Yeah, that was a pretty unique piece there. Yeah, yes. Where, where I'm from, they had um, bootleg figures of Star Wars. Okay. But they had different names than the movie. So I knew them. I grew up with different names for characters. And then I come to the U.S. and I see the movies. And then I say, oh, that's not the name. His name is not, you know, Boris Schlecklefish. It's Han Solo. So it's <laughs> like I'm confused. And then I look and I'm like, you know, Gorilla Dog. He's called Chewbacca, like my, um, <laughs> you know, like, you know, g- g- a little girl boy. It's Luke. I'm so, my brain is <laughs> oh explosion. My brain you, is explosion. Are you saying in the, the version of Star Wars that you saw with, I guess, either dubbed or subtitles, they called Luke little girl boy? <laughs> well, yeah, it looks soft. Yeah. In the, in the early, yeah, in the first film, he, you know, he. Yeah. He rose yes. to a prominence. Right. Yeah. That is wild. Wow, this is such a neat experience. We, I think you are our first international probably viewer based on my analytics. I don't have – but then again, you said you're from Kansas City, so I can't – I'm making some assumptions here. But it's really great right. to – I feel like we're really reaching out and, and, uh, and touching lives, right? We're touching lives. Just be careful where you touch. Uh, there is saying from where I'm from that says, if you touch in the dark, you may feel the cold and the flames of the bear's scrotum. So <laughs> oh my just, God. I think you know what that means. So I think you know. <laughs> I think that doesn't quite translate to English, but I, man, it sounds like a really powerful statement to make. Very, yes, very powerful. Yes. Um, so, Sergey, the, we get. We were able to pull this picture up of you from your call. I guess somehow it's a tied into your your ID somehow. But so where where's this picture? Where were you? Is this new, old, or is this is this even you? Or what can you say? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what is your favorite Star Wars film, Sergey? Probably I like the originals. I like the first one. Uh, Star Wars, or as where I'm from, it's called uh, the Galactic March of the Armies. Okay, but it's long title, but Star Wars is my favorite, the first the original, and then probably after that, I like the um, the one where the little boy is grown up and he's fighting with the lava, the Re- Revenge of the Sith. 
I like that one a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's fighting with the lava. He, yes. Yeah. So you saw you saw the prequels as well, then. I've seen all the Star Wars, all okay. of them. I've seen them. I have them on the the computer. Okay. Um, possibly, possibly legal. Legal. I believe it. Maybe. Yeah. What do you think of the um, What do you think of the newer, the sequel films, as it were, the Disney properties that, that since they bought? What do you think of those? Uh, I find them enjoyable. Uh, they're very good. I like for me, it's always good to see because where I'm from, uh, uh, tradition is a major thing. It carries on from uh, generation to generation. So to see this for the next group of kids. To learn about the good and the evil, and to know what is right and what is wrong, and where to, you know, don't put your hand in the dark, and to not have. Um, there's a saying there where I'm from that sometimes the goat looks into your soul to simply know where you live. Mm. I think mm. you know what that means. So that's. For me, that's what these new movies, uh, there's a sense of pride. Like, I am handing this over to the next group of people to mm -hmm. enjoy. And, yes. Are you handing it over, like, physically, like on bootleg VHS? Or do you mean meta you mean as a, symbolically you're handing it over to the younger I can neither confirm nor deny what I'm doing. Okay. So, yes, I've said too much. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, um, wow, this is so fascinating. I have so many questions for you. I know most of them, it sounds like you really aren't at liberty to answer. Um, but what do you see, like, um, do you do you think our show that you stumbled upon, that now I hope you're subscribing, Do you are you able to subscribe and like, or is that, does that reveal yes, too much about you? Yes, of course. You? I, have, I, I subscribe. I watch every week. I like, the, I like the jokes you make with the people. I like the man with the fuzzy face. Uh, we had to go pick up his child tonight. He's he's great. His stunt double I, is here uh, tonight. Have you noticed his stunt? I here? saw him. I got excited. I thought that maybe everybody can be on show tonight. So that's why I called in because I saw you had your ma the man with the uh, rubber chicken Darth Vader, and Luis, so I said yeah. I will call. That's great. Uh, oh, so, that's so excited. Yes. But uh, so I have to go soon because I'm running a uh, a uh, scam that I have to monitor. <laughs> um, <laughs> So real quick, um, and I think Ray might be back with us because I hear I hear our show playing. Ray's got to go on mute. And now when Ray came back, he just turned Luis's uh, camera into a crazy situation. Now we'll just put Luis in the middle there. Ray is back. Oh, my God. All right. Luis, Sergey, I'm going to have to let you guys go if that's okay for now because it's I, I crushing go. my, my, And I've got to go yeah. find Aaron. Aaron went to grab something to drink, but – Sergey, do you I think mean, I give us? Sergey. I'm sorry. It's okay. It, we're glad to have you back. Wait, uh, Luis, we didn't get to say a proper goodbye. There, he's, hang real quick. Sergey, do you think this show has legs? Is it worth our time? Is it worth the sacrifice? Uh, the, the the sleepless nights, the planning, the um, the engagement, reaching out to people, grassroots level. Do you think this show is worth it, or should I just hang it up and say we had a good run? Let's move on with our lives. What do you think? Well, last word from you, Sergey. Let me tell you this. There is a saying from where I'm from. It, the saying goes like this. Now listen to me very carefully, okay. Okay? okay? The saying goes like this. If you do not aim your rifle at any of the prisoners escaping, you will never hit one. Always aim your rifle. You will hit something. If you keep your rifle down, you'll hit nothing. <laughs> you keep you keep aiming your rifle and firing. You will hit something. Don't not hit. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Got it. Got it. No, I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm just like emotional. I just. You've given me so much hope for this. Well, of course, of course, I understand this thing that we're doing. You're, 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 you're American, you're very soft. I understand. Listen, my <laughs> skin is almost finished. I have to track these people down. Uh, I will listen to the rest of the show or if not, they'll watch later time. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Keep aiming the rifle and you'll be uh, good. All right. Thank, Thank you. you for having me on the show. Thank you for doing the show. And may the forces be with you. Thank you so much, Sergey. <laughs> Star Wars.
Well, do it live!